Aisha from Japan. Um, Sheikh, uh, I'm gearing uh, too much with fuss regarding voodoo and uh, also um, while uh, rinding my mouth, uh, I feel like water doesn't reach my back, wisdom teeth and heart palate. Uh, with one time rinsing, that's why um, I feel I try to rinse my mouth thoroughly and it takes so much time. Uh, should the water reach uh, back teeth and heart palate? And what about uh, while rinsing nose, uh, how far should water reach in uh, also should the water reach the throat first well? of all first of all you're entitled only for one question not for a life story so the wiswas you're getting can be easily solved and resolved when you ask yourself a very simple question how much water did the prophet use to make wudu the answer is one mud and mud is equivalent to what gathers in a person's palms a normal person so some say it's about 700 milliliter a little bit less a little bit more if this is the mud it's almost as big as this mug so do you think that you're consuming water equivalent to it or the water you're consuming is in gallons, not in liters, then definitely you're not following the Prophet ﷺ, nor his companions, nor the tabi'een. You're making up a new religion. And this is because you're listening to shaitan. Who in his right mind said to you that it has to reach your wisdom teeth and in insert the fillings and go beyond the crowns and the bridges and the implants and next time maybe you need to uh, turn the water in your mouth with colored liquid so that you can open it with infrared you can uh, uh, see or ultraviolet you can see where it escaped and you do the necessary all of this is from shaitan He's messing up with your head. How far do we have to go up our nostrils until the water comes from my ears? Well, what kind of question is this? Do it to the best of your ability with bearing in mind that the Prophet used to والسلام, put water in the palm of his hand. How much water is this? How much? Very little. He used to put half of it in his mouth and with the rest in his nose. So what amount of water is going up your nostrils? Very minute, very little. So when you look at what shaitan is doing to you and messing up with your head, oh, it has to reach your, up to your nostrils and all your sinuses would be really re relieved from that, etc. You don't have to harm yourself. You don't have to put so much pressure on yourself. Islam is a religion of simplicity of ease, not a religion of hardship, an exaggeration, an overthinking. This is from shaitan. This has nothing to do with Islam and Allah knows best.